Good morning, my name is Dr. Larson, board certified neurosurgeon at Coeur d'Alene Spine and Brain. Today I'm going to treat a patient that has lumbar stenosis, a very common pathology that people get sometimes as they age or get injury to a lumbar disc. Uh, lumbar stenosis is the result of arthritic buildup sometimes of the facet joints or the posterior ligaments or even collapse of the disc space and what happens is that bone spurs form and compress the nerves that are trying to exit the spine and you can get symptoms of radicular pain down your legs or even neurogenic claudication where you have to lean forward or lean against a grocery cart to feel better. This is a patient who's 65 years old and he's got some arthritis in his spine and the area of interest is at L45 where he is pinching off some of the nerves that are trying to exit. And what I'm going to do today is a laminectomy to go in and remove the bone and expose those nerves so they're no longer pinched. But I'm going to do it by a less invasive route where the tissue is taken out. I'm going to put in a small device called the CoFlex device that is going to bridge the area where the surgery occurred, giving it stability and allowing motion to be preserved there. The level of interest is L4-5, so I'm marking where the incision is going to go between the two spinous processes. I'll do the laminectomy, the medial facetectomy, and then put in the stabilizing device, the CoFlex device. I make a midline incision and then use an instrument to identify the interspinous region at L4-5. Here you can see the marker in position. I'll then go under the microscope and do a decompression, first drilling out both medial facet joints at L4-5 using a curette to undermine the ligament and then a kerosene rangeur to remove the ligament and do a partial facetectomy, partial laminectomy, all through this uh, small midline approach to fully decompress the underlying dura, the nerve roots, and here is a curette showing full decompression of the L4-5 segment, and we're ready for stabilization. I'll use a sizer for the Coflex device, in this case a 10 millimeter sizer is going to for trial is going to show uh, the proper size here. You can see it in position between the spinous processes of L4 and L5. Then take the 10 millimeter device in this case, put it on the applier and put it in position between L4 and L5 using these wings to span the spinous processes. Once it gets positioned in the right trajectory, I'll tap it into position and advance it into its final position between the L4 and L5 spinous processes. At this point, the device is secured into position by fixing the wings to the spinous processes. I'll inspect the area and I'll remove the retractor and take a final picture showing the CoFlex device in the area of interest, in this case between the spinous processes of L4 and L5. Here's an AP view showing the same. You can see the wings of the device securing it to the spinous processes of L4 and L5. This is a treatment for lumbar stenosis with or without neurogenic claudication, laminectomy. Uh, decompression with stabilization using the CoFlex device. I'm Dr. Larson. Thank you for watching.